Hi friends, here is Aricha from Aricha RP account in Bangalore. Now we are continuing the real-time project that is healthcare application in Blue Prism RPA. In the last videos, we have designed a bot for a client process and now we are continuing uh, to design a bot for like a patient process. So we will see about the application. So for this application, I have like three windows. Like one is for account, client and patient. In the last videos we have seen about a client now we are going to see like a patient and login and if you update the columns here like a fields here and then I have created one excel file so according to the fields here and the patient ID and the NHS number means that the unique uh, patient identification number in England and the last name, first name, title and then uh, gender, so house number, and then street, city, county, postcode verified and you can check it like you know, uh, house number, street, city, county, postcode and verified. Right now we are going to export, the, export this right data from Excel to application by to the help of like you know, blue pressure. Here I am designing one business subject called okay, healthcare application. For patient business subject and copy the information here and then paste it and finish it so here we are going like you know if you missed anything in the last video so you can if you follow this one you can easily design a bot for any other processes very easy and then please uh, follow like on you know, step by step and then open an application sorry business object go to application modeler Click on next, so Windows application and choose the first radio button, so browse, so desktop, healthcare application, healthcare application, next, and finish, launch, then Go to identify now. I'm using like a region mode and press alt button. So now I switch to region mode. Now I'm capturing the entire window. And then, if you observe here, it is showing like in today's date. And we'll change this state in uh, in our like, while when we capture this one, like you know, we'll use like a wildcard expression by using like a wildcard expression, we can uh, make it like a dynamic. Okay, capture the first one. There's the username. Username field. apply then create one more region assign a name for this one say password hyphen field and then apply then click on region Okay, system hyphen feed and apply and click on region and then login. So, I send a name for this like login, 
log space in hyphen so button then apply then so okay okay so far we capture like around three uh, like around four uh, like around objects and make sure like whether uh, the blue prism is able to identify or not so highlight the element and then click on highlight and it's you now it's identifying and next uh, so password so highlight it it's identifying and system highlight yeah it's identified and the login the highlight now it's identified okay now i'm taking the window if you observe here it is showing like a today's date and if you run this script uh, like you know, in tomorrow it won't work because the date will mismatch so for the purpose we we'll may change like a you know, wild card and use asterisk and we'll allow us like you know, all dates so we can change it on individual element or we can go for like you know, copy element copy and paste element mask since we have like four elements so i am using like i am changing it manually so wildcard and change it to wildcard change it to wildcard that match type then apply then okay so here i am assigning name for this one so like a login so like rename it okay patient then login so use navigate stage and drag and drop, drop like root one then assign a name for this one like a launch and choose an action there's a launch then click on ok the next one for username and username field use global mouse click center and username field cursor and now I'm, we require like a two data items for this one is like a username and the data type is number sorry text initial value is an admin and okay and password the data type is password and the initial value is also like you no know, admin then drag and drop one more navigate stage drag and drop the root one then choose a global send keys then assign username then ok and drag and drop ok let me assign name for this one username input Next password field and global mouse click center then OK then drag and drop navigate stage 
so drag and drop the root one use global send keys then password like input and I require like one more data item that is system that it data type is text and initial value is like a patient then okay and the next one is And drag and drop one more navigate stage and drag and drop the login button then global mouse click center And then drag and drop the root one. Then select like on global send keys and the system. Then OK. Then use uh, for login one the login button. Then global mouse click center. then ok and use the uh, anchor stage link it ok we'll check it like a step by step so reset it. I will show you like zero errors. I am using like a run to this stage. Here yeah, now the application is launched. Then keep it like on side by side. Then run to this stage. Yeah, and if you observe here. The blue prism place the cursor on username field in application. And then, so run to this stage. Okay, I'll run it. Okay, so far we are able to we are you know, we are able to log into like a patient uh, area i mean like a patient system and then please stay with us if you really like it um, so please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends thank you for watching and please stay with us for uh, more videos on this like a patient process like a robot thank you